There are some questions in which um, Christians and religious believers are making factual claims. God made the universe. It's a factual claim. Either he did or he didn't. There is life after death. We may have no way to find out, but that's a factual claim. Either there is or there isn't. Uh, the resurrection happened. Either it did or it didn't. Now, religion also makes moral claims. Um, this is how you should live. This is a happy life and so on. So religion operates in two domains. The second domain is untouchable by science. Science can try to give accounts of how morality originated, but that's not the same thing as what you should and shouldn't do. Well, um, but just so, be, be more clear about that distinction. Because well, I want to go straight to the other side about well, that. Well, science can say that we evolved a desire for cooperation out of Darwinian evolution. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't say if there's a famine in Haiti if I should give money or no. So in yeah. other words, the content of morality is unaffected by science, although science can give an account of, mm -hmm. of the origin of morality. But, but, not, but not the what is actually right or wrong. So yeah, and the other okay, thing let me, I, let, me, let, me, let me, before you move on, let me go to Michael Shermer on that. Well, so um, where do we get our morals from? Um, it, it can't be from the Bible because almost nobody obeys, certainly not the Old Testament, and, and most of the New Testament. I mean, death yeah. penalty for adultery, there goes half a Congress. I mean, mm. nobody, <laughs> nobody is going to do this, right? So we pick and choose, we cherry pick from the, the holy books based on something else, something else that's happened that I referenced in my opening statement of there's been this other change that's happened, this secularization of morality. That is, you have to actually have good reasons for why you hold certain moral principles, and you, better, and you should be able to articulate them. Uh, and so that's been the, the change there. So even if you and I both listen to the still small voice within to decide what's right or wrong, Dinesh, um, I'm claiming you're not getting it from the Bible, and I'm not either. We're getting it from somewhere else. I think we've evolved this propensity to have moral emotions, and then culture tweaks them, and we've been getting progressively more but, moral. But how, what's telling us what is actually right or wrong? But, but I think well, science does tell us what's right and wrong. To Sorry, some, Lawrence to, Krauss. Uh, to, uh, I think science does tell us what's right and wrong in a real way. Really? We, yeah. We, we, we have learned, for example, the, fa the scientific facts that certain animals can suffer, for example, affects our, treat, our decision of whether of how we should treat those animals, whether we should eat them or not eat them, uh, or the, the scientific evidence that certain people of certain colors don't have different intellects, different capabilities, has changed the way we deal with other humans. But at bottom Science it, has I, determined the way we behave in the modern world. And, and science is telling us what's right or wrong? Yeah, I think so, because wrong. it's telling us how the world actually works. Ian Hutchinson. I don't think it's the case that it tells us right or wrong. I think science does often inform us in ways that help us to implement our morals and our ethics more effectively, more fairly, uh, more accurately, and, and more truly. But in the end, it cannot tell us whether, whether it's right or wrong to do something, because categories of right and wrong aren't scientific categories. Well, the, the Bible certainly doesn't tell us either. Well, you agree? So, yeah, well uh, where do you get it from? Yeah, where do you get it? I mean, does God, does God speak to you and tell you? Yeah. I'll answer that. First of all, we don't get, none of us, a morality from the Bible. It's not like I read the Ten Commandments and went, oh, stealing is wrong. Wow. Didn't know that before. Uh, killing is wrong. Incredible. Exactly. I already knew that. Okay. How did I know it? I knew it because of what Adam Smith calls the impartial spectator the voice of conscience. So it is the contention of religious believers that the voice of conscience has been implanted in us by God. Now, you say it's come from evolution. We say it could have been implanted in us by God through evolution. Now, just to say that science tells us facts doesn't mean that science changes our morality. If, if I were to step on the stage and stomp on a dog, there'd be a universal wave of revulsion in the audience, although Presumably, the matter would be more controversial if it were a cat. Uh, but uh, <laughs> science, my point is science can tell us the dog feels pain. But the idea that we shouldn't cause pain to others, that's a moral proposition. Science is merely altering the fact which puts that moral principle into motion. So we have widened our circles of morality based upon new facts and science can provide those, but science isn't actually telling us what's right or wrong at all.